it. This is Jugo's trap. What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again. It's not again. This time, it's the real one. Real? I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. I didn't want to have to press that button, so hopefully this guy is the real Makoto. Then this guy is the guy that I spoke to. I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> <laughs> so cruel! I'm drooling! So, so much! Did you also time my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone. And then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. Ah, I'm drooling. I can't stop my leaking. How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means, you must respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. Ugh, you always had such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Just what do you mean by trap? What is Juko's trap? It doesn't matter. We can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. After all this, I can't let you get in the way. The fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Jugo's trap. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Hmm. Little old me. Who do we trust? If you knew Jugo's true goal, you'd know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. The Despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego the AI she stole my friend's skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. What? Then, everyone who died isn't gonna come back to life. They're gonna be taken over by Chunko? What the fuck? Like the real world, once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Don't mess with me. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fuguhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I can play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. I said, don't fucking mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here! Junkify All Mankind. I'm my alter ego into everyone who died. I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. And then, eventually... There's going to be a whole lot of memes all over the world. With this, my despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land, will be complete. That's Operation Junko Fi All Mankind in a nutshell. Oh, yeah. Our dreams are expanding and That messed up plan is your goal? Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did... You could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. The reason she wasn't able to do that. 
It was because of something she didn't do. If so, then the reason is... She didn't have a body herself. No. Damn it. The fact that she was sealed away? No. Damn it. I'm gonna get all four wrong. This, is it the rules? I got it. It's because of the I'm not computer. locked in anymore because of what happened to the freaking computer. Hmm. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? <laughs> Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to the rule. So, I didn't even get to read it all. <laughs> Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well, even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your body plan. So you made us kill each other, because you couldn't kill us yourself. Then... Is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? <clears throat> Don't fuck with me. What about our lives? Chump change. Damn! <laughs> Holy crap. I... I won't forgive you. I will never, ever fucking forgive you! So that's your trap. You tried to make us choose graduate, so you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. How? How can you be so cruel? Because Junko and Oshima is the true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles. Or a lifestyle, or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko and Ishima. It's just my characterization. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? For example, when I hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly, picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, Dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes. Oh, that memory is so beautiful. It made my brain melt. Yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? No. Could it be she's talking about them right now? I see. Are you talking about... The Reserve Course is mass suicide? Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the Reserve Course. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. M mass suicide? What's she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the Reserve Course all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number. You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all tied at once. Oh, that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I... I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. You ultimate despairs are among her many victims. If someone like me is born, that means the world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? If we choose graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will activate, right? If that happens, 
Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? Well, what the heck? Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cruel fate for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the future foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. Wrong! That's not it! But ultimate despair is hated worldwide, and their lives are no doubt targeted by the future foundation. Oh well, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped, can't- This is nothing to LOL about! But it's so ironic! You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice! Even though you came all this way to win the game. Even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win. <laughs> the goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along. Isn't that just so fucking tragic? Stop it! It was all a mistake. Was this really just a mistake? Was it a mistake to think that we'd go home alive all along? What about the killings in the class trials? Was it just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despair killed each of us off? That, this Don't is just too. There is a way you guys can get out of here without letting Junko out. No, no, there's no way such a convenient. There is, really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. First, she's heard of it? Then it's a way Junko doesn't even know, right? The way to get out that Junko doesn't know, it might be that. It's the password. Crap. No. Oh, this. I see. The thing that initiates it. Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. H hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can't stop it. Dear me, I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. You... you know about it? More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? The reason the shutdown secrets can't be activated is... No authority. No. Is it, or is it there's none to begin with? Wait, they said five five people was the perfect amount. I see. Because there's not enough people? <laughs> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? However... Out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let ya. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. You, you totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Then try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? I believe... Oh, uh, huh? I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. Them. You need to take your time. <laughs> My girl. Okay, so we're gonna see all all of them are gonna come back then, I would assume. Kyoko, Biakia, Aoi, 
Yep, there's our boy Biakia. So then, what was the first Biakia Togami then? Wasn't it the ultimate imposter person, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? Kyoko, Biakuya, I knew you guys would come. Kyoko, Biakia. off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. <laughs> we be back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Hey, what's going on? Why are there more people again? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages! It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, she's much bigger than I remember. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. And I'm not one of them, because I like men. It's fine. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Oh my god. Pretty much. Miyakuya, you're alive. But you're so skinny now. I feel so bad for you. You shut up, too. <laughs> Are you two also from the Future Foundation? No, it's probably not just that. Six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped you recover your memories. Tragedy. If the Killing School Life is referencing you to that. Guys are the survivors of the Killing School Life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. Th there's three of them here now? The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jeez, this stupids! making such a suicidal move. Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. <laughs> Why are you crying? showed up looking all cool and stuff, and now all the ultimate despairs. Oh, I'll be treated like even bigger chumps. Chump, you said it again. Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her and this messed up world. And this messed up world. Can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, to us. No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. It's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. Is there a reason to tell them all that? They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we entered the program... We're going to revert back to our original selves before we enter the program. Revert to the ultimate despairs. I see. D does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's right. Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. No! Hey, are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern. But this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have to fight? I, I thought we finally reached the end. Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last ultimate despair. 
For this reason, the rem remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Will you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like really nasty. But, but still, <clears throat> even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? I don't want that. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Meaningless? Vanish. Does that include her too? If we lose our memories of this world, we're also going to forget she ever existed, right? And if that happens, does it really mean that? That she, an existence confined to this world, is really going to disappear? She risked her life to protect us, and we won't even remember she existed. Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition, that's like a bad joke. We're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. Oh my god, Byakuya said that at the beginning of the game. Anything about that past? Hey, why? Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me, people who cling to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. When you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your dead friends will never be revived. And the embodiment of Despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the Future Foundation win, or will my Despair win? Are starting to heat up! This isn't a game, you know. Au contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You, you called us chumps again! Only because it's true! Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. Huh? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? C question As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question. Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie, let's all think about it together. The same outcome as the ceiling killing school life. Do I just remember where what occurred there? 
the people of Junko lured the method. I should try connecting the dots and see if the answer is there. Logic dive. Okay. Okay, this is this has been one heck of a trial so far, admittedly. Question one. Who did Junko Anishima want to lure the Future Foundation? Not the first time we've actually had it be like not a straight line. Hello. Question two, what was the bait used? Okay, I don't know how I did that, but I'm freaking proud of it. Oh, shit. No. I say I'm proud of one thing and get fricked for it. Good job, me. No! Shit! I said one! I said one! Gosh! Diggity darn! Frickin' thing! And I'm getting penalized for it. That sounds accurate. No! Oh my god! I'm... No! Uh, one frickin' thing. One frickin' statement. And here I am, getting frickin' doodled. What did Juko use to force them to watch the killings? The surveillance cameras. Oh, it's this. Wait, oh god. They were all almost the same thing. It's just spelled wrong. I'm so glad I noticed that. So that it was being broadcast to the Future Foundation. It's all coming together. Got it. You used the surveillance cameras. You were trying to lure the Future Foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? In the previous killing school life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding! I was broadcasting the killing school trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. The footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? What shall I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. You sure did. I will never be queen now. Please forget what you saw. So you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? We tried to hack in many times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again, until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, Hope dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Hey, don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright, solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I used to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Just one second, please! That sounds as though we... As 
though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this. Thank you. It's all thanks to you guys. This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair. We do not feel despair. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. You're pretty fucking desperate! Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever. Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just, you just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your votes. Whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. The other requirement for the graduation exam was... The teacher's final decision. I see. As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. To participate in the graduation exam, you will need my permission as your acting teacher, you know. Wh what does that mean? It won't just end with the majority vote? After the vote, I am going to judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it? Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade! Hmm. That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that. All too well. I mean, she's been bad-mouthing us this whole time. Oh. Looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we'd back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look up on their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. That is... Well... Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they've walked the wrong path before. But that's all in the past now. What I believe in is not their past. But their futures. <laughs> I, I was totally waiting for a protagonist to fly like that. When I crush you with this bear, it's ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> you do to me. I will never fall into despair. <clears throat> oh, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's going to make you fall into despair. That's the mastermind's job. And they'll be appearing very soon. Mastermind? Mastermind? Someone else is coming? That can't be. It's just a bluff. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. But I always fell into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. What are you talking about? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! Izuru... 
Kamakura? The name, I've heard it before. That person was called the Ultimate Hope, but that shouldn't be all he was. That's right, I've seen this person somewhere else. As I recall, that person was the founder of the Academy. Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That name. It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura... If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the Ultimate Hope, right? Hmm? Huh? Does the Founder have the same name as that Ultimate Hope guy? Is that kind of coincidence even possible? The future Foundation might know something, right? How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamakura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that. The matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. The reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talents. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. And you're the one who set it up, right? Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Junko and Ashima killed them? Oh, don't say such cruel things. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Isn't that right, Hajime? What? I am... What? Like I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. Huh? What? Alrighty. If you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you do understand. Have we been playing the bad guy all along? I mean, we were all playing the ultimate despair role, so we all were kind of bad in and of itself. But... What? Hold on! Seriously, what are you talking about? Liar! There's no way. There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamakura! Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime is. That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve course dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. I'm Izuru Kamakura. 